more democratic, republic type situation set up. Um, and when so the rebellion happened in 1857, it was unsuccessful. It was put down. It was not very well organized. He got a lot of backing from both Canadians and Americans. He was trying to continue the rebellion, but with American support. Um, although that was also basically unsuccessful, and he was arrested for <laughs> breaching neutrality laws and thrown in jail for a year in New York. Oh my goodness. Um, but it wasn't until after he was pardoned, 12 years on, that he returned to Canada and lived in his house. A member of what was called uh, the Assembly here, which was part of it was an elected government post. Um, and he, I think he was really, I think he returned to that a little bit. And he... Upside down. So here's the oh, top paragraph oh. of a newspaper. Wow. Now the reason upside down is because uh, if you did it all backwards, you could, but you'd have to start with the last letter of the last word and then work your way up, and that would be mentally taxing. Whereas if you do it upside down, then you can still start with the first letter of the first word. So once a paragraph was done, it could go into a column. And here's the column over here. And at this point, uh, they want to make sure everything is correct. Mr. McKenzie wouldn't want to have a newspaper with typos in it. So that's what uh, this small printing press over here is for, called a proof press, where they could print out a column at a time, make sure every letter is printing and every word is spelled correctly. And then if it is, it would go on to the, the big press and be ready for the final printing. And on the big press, all the letters have to be held together. Because if they're loose, if they're wobbly under the press, it will crush the letters. So they would keep the letters all in a big frame called the chase. And I expect some people have heard the expression, cut to the chase. When we say cut to the chase nowadays, we mean hurry up, get to the point. But in the print shop, it meant you could only fit so much into this frame, and you'd have to cut the rest. So uh, sometimes uh, they'd have to cut uh, you know, paragraphs out on the spot or switch to a smaller letter. And once the newspaper was completely ready, then the last step was to actually print it. 
So it'd be about three or four days doing this part, finding all the letters from the newspaper. And the printing press I'm printing on is actually even older than the house you just saw. So this one is from 1845. And it's called the Washington Press. And it's very easy to use. With earlier versions of printing presses, your quality of your print depended on how strong the printer was. But this one, it doesn't matter how strong the printer is. It's made it very uh, easy and universal to get a good copy. So I've got my paper over here. In Mr. McKenzie's day, there was a, a wire attachment that you could slide the papers in. They'd all be, already be up here. It was called the frisket. Nowadays, you place it on top, and it this down, and then it rolls under the press. It's got like a little railway track here, rolls underneath. And then I'm going to put 2,000 pounds of pressure onto the paper. And it's easy, I'm doing it with one hand. There's 2,000 pounds. And then roll it out again. They'd always be working this with two people, so you'd have one to do the inking and one to do the printing. So with two people working it together, they can make uh, three copies in a minute. And if you come back to us on a regular day, not doors open at that, we give you a chance to type that and put your name into something. So that's not regular. It's a bit too busy today to get everybody in here, but uh, yeah, if you come see us on another day, we're happy to customize them for you. So the one day the printers have off is uh, Sunday. So the rest of the week is getting ready to produce a newspaper. It actually does a newspaper. Yeah. So we have about uh, three around. If anyone else wants one, I can print one for you. But grab those if anyone would like one. So yeah, here's this newspaper over here. Anyone else want one? Yeah. Yeah, one over here? Do you want one over there, sir? Two I'm okay. okay. What about you? <laughs>